What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the RMP Podcast, giving you opinions on topics you've never asked for. I'm your host, Plax. I'm here with my co-host, Rick. Rick, how you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing I'm doing all right. Uh, I woke up on the right side of the bed today, um, so I'm kind of chilling. Oh, uh, and for those of you listening, this is episode 63. Um, and so you got 62 other episodes you could be listening to right now if you haven't. Mm-hmm. Um, so go back to those. And if you are watching this on YouTube or clipping this on YouTube, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Mm-hmm. 63 hours of content just on episodes alone. You can sit there. Yeah, basically. Just vibe Not for real, for real. But I feel like, you know, we got to let the people know that we do this. You know? We do. We do. There's other lot. podcasts it's in the neighborhood, people. but we want them to know that we do this. I feel like. I feel like we the uh, most well rounded podcast. I feel like Definitely. we drop the most. We do. Uh, I feel like as... I feel like we're like really consistent. I don't know if we drop the most. Maybe the most of other. Well, content. I'm talking about with all of our stuff yeah. that we do episodes. Maybe not, but uh, as far as like just everything that we do, I think we drop the most out of majority. Majority. Of podcasts. Yeah. No disrespect. No, it is, it's, it's a little disrespect. Podcast, but is it? Yeah. <laughs> I got it well, in my soul. Well, I'll stand on it. I st- I stand on it though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was disrespect. <laughs> uh, step step your drop schedules up, people. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Not for real, for real though. Oh <laughs> uh, no, nah, but I mean, if people did that, if people dropped like we do, I feel like buff the Buffalo podcast scene to go crazy. Mm-hmm. I feel like we would pop. Yeah, but we're gonna have to do it for them. If the podcast scene passed the music scene after that head start, that'd be nuts. Yeah, but it, it don't matter because <laughs> we doing it for them, you know. Mmm, talk your shit. We're doing the forum. So check the forum. That's a ball. Mm-hmm. Snot came on my nose. Y'all ain't see it though. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Rick get to talk your shit because it always get me amped. I'm ready to go oh, now. Man. Let's get it. Uh, <laughs> but now this, yeah, this is episode sixty three. We got a couple things to talk about. I guess the first thing we will get out the way. We always get these out the way. Is condolences. R. I. P. Um, Teddy. If, if you know, mm-hmm. if you if you ever seen, um, uh, what is it? All Deaf Digital. All Deaf Digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ton- What's his last name? Is Teddy Ray? Teddy Ray. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So R. I. P. Teddy Ray. Um, died at uh, thirty two. For those of you who don't know, yeah, which is crazy. Oh yeah. For those of you <laughs> that don't know, it's the dude that said uh, double cheeked up, viral, double cheeked up. His homie was double cheeked up on a Thursday yeah, afternoon. <laughs> double cheeked. He up. thought he was a bad bitch. On and the then he turned afternoon. around and it was his homie. Yeah. <laughs> he said, man, what are you doing? Why are you wearing those? <laughs> you double cheeked up on a Thursday uh, afternoon. <laughs> nah, but that's... Nah, he's, he's legitimately a funny dude. Yeah, so but nah, that's, him, that's really crazy. Um, Did they say... what he, Was it just health complications, right? I think that's all they said. They they didn't say they didn't say what um, was the cause. People are assuming that's what it is. Um, but because he was you know a bigger guy, but I, they never like specified though. No. Yeah, I don't know the bigger guy thing. I don't think that could just be an assumption anymore. Because what was the one bigger dude who used to wear like the pinstripe suits? Like he was a bigger bigger dude. Um, there's a the Ooh. it was a viral video of him and uh, the dude who plays um, uh, what's it uh. Brown, Uncle, uh, is it Uncle? No, the, like in the Medea, Brown, um, Brown. What's it? What's his name? Hmm. Why am I blanking on his name? I'm drawing a blank Mr. too. I'm like, I think Mr. Brown. <coughs> um, oh, from they, they, he was in the Medea movie. Yeah, talking about. yeah, that's what, yeah. That's, him that's and his, his wife lost a lot of weight. Yeah, 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 yeah that what was his character about. name? It was Mr. Brown, right? I believe it was Mr. Brown. Yeah, I feel like. And, and yeah, it was. Yeah, because they used to call him Brown yeah. sometimes. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I then his his wife played his daughter in the movies, which is hilarious in the shows. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, I didn't Cora. Know that. Cora. Oh, that is his. Oh my god, his wife, that's weird. But but for the show's that's purposes, weird. I, I feel like that's that. a compliment to her because they're saying she looks young enough that she could be his daughter. But I feel well, like no, that is did. weird. She did. Because, she did. Yeah, they did. But I feel like that is weird because they were married. In real life, yeah. yeah, and they lost a lot of weight though. They, they did, did lose, lose a lot, lot of weight. weight they did lose a lot of yeah. weight, but yeah, it was him. It was um, ah, what was it? Uh, it was him. Bigger dude. He he used to do like a lot of like um, kind of like jokes. It was like he used to get into a yo mama a yo mama battle with his mother. He was like, you can't never do that because <laughs> she mother? gonna say some foul <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's another guy. Yeah, he was bald. And, uh, yeah, and he said his mama used to be like, like, yeah, that's why your mama, oh, she used to suck. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yep. And he used to be like, wait, mama. <laughs> no, she he said she used to suck dick and then kiss you on your yep. lips before. Yep. And he said, wait. He was laughing and then he said, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Lavelle. That's Lavelle nuts. Crawford. Lavelle, okay, okay. Do you feel like you got to beef your mom after that? Do you feel like that's I feel like that's a strong, your mom? strong possible. Yeah, like you might like you just you blatantly she, disrespected maybe, me, and I was a kid. Yeah, maybe like, it's you ain't even. Uh, yeah, swift jab. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. No combination. No follow up. No biscuit. No com. Okay. Yeah, no I no biscuit. No combo. Just a swift. <laughs> don't go. Cr- a swift mink. You just give her a little. <laughs> You don't even gotta have the hip in the jab, just the, just from the shoulder work. Just, just a, give her a little quick jab, just a, maybe in the little in the nose. Yeah, just area, the, just the mink, you know. mink, mink. M- yeah. Maybe if you're feeling it, it's that's deserved. I feel like because that's just crazy. No, that's nuts. <laughs> I couldn't be me. I really hope his mom did really do that. Too. I would throw up. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> um, no, but um, it kind of. I don't. Again, they didn't specify what uh, he died from, but. It's kind of speculated it was because he was a bigger guy and maybe his uh, uh, diet wasn't the greatest. It made me think more because I thought me and Rick kind of briefly talked about it before. I'm 24. I'm about to be 25 in like five, six months or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be 30 looking the way I look and feeling the way I feel. So I made a uh, five-year resolution that the next five years, I'm going to try to at least work out a few times a week. So by the time I'm 30, I'm not this this way. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't yeah. want to pop off and then get packed up in a year or two. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do that <clears throat> if I could prevent it. Obviously, accidents happen. You know, anything can happen to you, but I don't want it to be because I wasn't working out or eating yeah. right anything can happen so, to you but don't make it the obvious thing yeah that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying like don't don't give uh uh lady death the the w you see how yeah. they'll just give it to her like make her work for yeah. it at least um, make her have to pull a yeah, final that, destination that. not just have you eat that extra lace chip that you should have ate that's what i'm saying right exactly right that's what i'm saying i don't imagine just dying because you ate up. one extra salt and vinegar chip I, oh, like yeah, if you would if you would just stop eating when you when you knew you should have stopped eating, you still be here right now. Like your stomach start gurgling, but it's not from <laughs> hunger. You just like wait, <laughs> you pass out. That's crazy. That's speaking of uh, speaking of that, I did. You know that AI stuff that people be doing. Yeah, I seen you did oh, a TikTok video now. Yeah, where you put the yeah. I did, I did a few of them, and one of them it was like yeah, what happened right before you were born, like yo app yo. Uh, pro, your past life mm-hmm. like what caused you to die there that got you to be born when you were born and it was, it looked like somebody on a stroll on a nice summer day and I was like getting packed on a stroll on a nice summer day is nuts that's crazy <laughs> so February 10th uh, 1998 whoever I was before was just chilling taking a little walk on a nice day and they got packed and that was they it. used to have that trend where you would put in your birthday in the google and then whatever the famous person who died on that day was was your past life and mine mm-hmm. was a artist who died who lived and died in buffalo oh oh yeah that's you rick yeah that was the most famous that's person you. to die on he, like birthday. painter or like music artist um like, it, it was it was a painter i believe Paint. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, that was you, man. That was you. <laughs> That's why you went. The obviously you went into tech. Oh uh, yeah. I was like, I ain't doing this shit again. Just, yeah, like man, like, this joint don't pay. <laughs> I need something tangible. <laughs> I need a check. Yeah, I need a check, man. Trying to be artsy. This shit ain't working, man. <laughs> um, but I was like, long, that was very long, wouldn't it? But I repeat to Teddy Ray. He will be missed. He was extremely funny. Um, and condolences to his family yeah. and friends and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, All Def Digital really did a lot to kind of uh, f- form the type of comedy I have. Or I guess the type of humor they did, yeah. I have. Like yeah. my, what my humor is, what I find funny, what I think is funny-wise. Um, like mm-hmm. just him, 
him and himself uh, just doing like the uh, what was it called? Uh, it, they would t- they would have to argue like what's the best of these things. Um, mm-hmm. I forgot. I- I'll look up what it's called. Uh, I should really have these offhand. Are you talking about? Um, uh, it was this other thing that they do. It's uh, what is it? See what you- black blasphemy is. Black no, blasphemy. not that one. No, he. I- I've I've seen opinion. a couple. Great taste. It's called Great Taste. Oh yeah, Great Taste. And I, I loved, remember that. Yeah, I loved I when he was on Great Taste. Uh, I'm looking at one he was on right now, which is the best Thanksgiving side dish, uh, which is a crazy conversation to have because they got cranberry sauce, stuffing, collard greens, mac and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes, and then uh, I think rolls. Which that's a that's mm. a heavy conversation. Well, it's 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 got to be mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is a be. gimme, but I feel like mac and cheese is so much of a gimme that I don't even include it in the conversation because a mac because mac and cheese see, could but, be the main dish. Like uh, like, but see, a side see, that could be a main dish is right dangerous. Here? That's what, the thing you're doing right now is what they do to Bron. Mm. You can't do that, nah, man. Yeah. If I'm out here hooping. I got, I got and I'm better it. than these niggas. I'm better than these niggas, bro. You can't do that, man. But if I that's what they do to Brian. But and and just like how they how they do be doing Brian, I will say this: it's not fair to the other sides because I can't have just a bowl of collard greens. Like I'm, that's crazy. But I could sit but there. Whose fault is that? That's the collard greens. I could sit there because I'm hooping and smack. That's just my fault. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's not the it's not Come the on, it's man. not the mac and cheese fault. But Steve, you got to think about what is fair to life. Like if someone handed you a plate and all it had was collard greens on it, how would you look at that? I'm person? like, what you trying to say? <laughs> yeah. Like, what you trying to say? Now, if they handed that's you a plate with only mac and cheese on it, what would you say? I'm going to town. Yeah, that's, you that's even my question Thanksgiving, bro. You, you would just listen. My dad know what it is. He <laughs> makes two pots of mac and cheese. One is mine, and one is for the, the village. Else. Like <laughs> one is just mine, bro. He know what Wait, it you is. You do pot <laughs> mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. Not pop, like, pan, uh, pan. Okay, yeah, he, he say, make two pans. You do the pot mac and yeah, cheese. No, I'm not, I do, I'm not, I do the I'm pot mac and cheese for everyday life, but if it's like a cookout or a special occasion or a holiday, if a nigga pull up with the pot. The, on a, even though Velveeta do be going you crazy, know. you can't pull up to the function with the pot of Velveeta mac and cheese. I'll still eat it, but I'll look I at will, you I will say this. as I'm eating it upset. And be like, you kind of lazy, King. Yeah. I will say this, <laughs> that the white people on TikTok, I'll give them this sometimes, they did put me on to the doing it on, the, on top first, then putting more cheese into the pan and stuff like that. Yeah. And then put it in there. I want to try that because that looked like it's crazy. You never did that. I never did it like that. You never. No, I never did you never it like, like that. Like melted like the cheese with the with the butter and the noodles, and then put it in the. No, and then my put dad it in the do pan. all that in the, in the pan. No, he do uh, all that yeah. in the pan. Like besides the noodles, of course, yeah. he do the whole thing in okay. the pan. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like he he put making a cheese. He put egg in the mac and um, cheese. Yeah. Okay. So. Some people don't like. I forgot who it was we was talking to. One of our peoples was like, "Y'all put egg in the pan, mac and cheese." I'm like, "Nigga, that's what that's what makes the consistency that's what amazing." Make it, like, yeah, that's what make it give it that umph, that hold on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to stick together, man. Yeah. <laughs> A quick question, Rick. We getting off what we were planning on talking. We didn't really about, have much plan. Question. We didn't have much plan, so we did. That is true. <laughs> so we kinda, I'm fine with this. We kind of. Copy pasted some shit together, guys. Yeah. For this, I'm one fine. I'm fine with this conversation because it's interesting. To me. <laughs> I got a quick question. Uh, do you like your mac and cheese more like, I guess, loosey goosey, or more like the harder mac and cheese? I like. I like like if it's the pan joint. I like it slightly like solid on top and then ooey gooey at the bottom. Like the mm. like the la- the top mm. layer. It, it can't be too hard, but the top layer got to be a little solid. But then everything mm-hmm. under that top layer got to go crazy ooey gooey, and that's like the perfect mm-hmm. mac. And, like if if the if the spoon got a little resistance when it digs into the top, but the minute mm-hmm. it cut the top, the cheese bubble up. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Give me some of that, and I'll be back for another plate. This, this a clip. This about to be a clip. I like it harder. That's crazy out of context. (laughs) Um, I hope you include the rest of the conversation. Um, We'll see. (laughs) see Like the whole, like the whole thing, or just the top. Um, 
the whole thing not too like not crazy i don't want it to be a brick <laughs> but I hope. that's double wow i'm going crazy right now i don't want it to be bricked up you don't want it to be bricked up you don't, <laughs> you don't like your mac and cheese to just have that thing on it yeah no i don't want it to yeah. completely have that thing on it but like just like i like the resistance a little bit mm-hmm. and then you pop it on the plate and you gotta use a fork come on man um, Come no. on, man. The, that's that's my shit. Hard right on, there. but I do feel you on the ooey gooey in the middle, though. Yeah, I feel you on it that. It gotta be at least for me. Like if if you, when you take the first scoop, if the second, if if when you after you take the scoop and the and the pan now has the the scoop part that you just took out and you look into it, if the rest of it ain't glistening, then you you ain't do it my way. Like I'll still eat mm. it, but that's like the preferred way. It's not yeah. right. It's not what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. My mom actually also, just made some mac and cheese not too long ago, um, and she made it with mm. four cheeses instead of three. She, I was just about to say, she, she did say how many cheeses. She did, gu- she did gouda, one time. Oh, gu- gouda! Oh my god, gouda go crazy. Gouda blessed this <laughs> beat. <laughs> gouda blessed this beat. Yeah, it got to be sharp <laughs> cheddar, and then yeah, and then uh, yeah. what's the last one? It's like sharp cheddar, and then. I think the last one it's could be like, a top, My dad used to sprinkle one. cheese sometimes yeah. as like the secondary. Yeah, sharp cheddar um, and then, and then maybe a mix, though. maybe a mix of the, the the cheddar sharp. But um, but now nah, that that gouda was man, that gouda was man, that gouda was man. But I will say, <laughs> Rick having flashback y'all yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, I will say this: as a lactose intolerant. It do be fucking me up, but it never stops me from Lactose getting more. Yes. Well, I'm, why are y'all like this? I'll say this. Why do y'all do this, dude? I'm not lactose intolerant <laughs> to the point where it like destroys me or like I'll be farting all the time or whatever. But when I do eat it, <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom more than I would like. Like I would like if I eat it, I gotta use the bathroom like maybe like two hours after I eat, and then after that I'm good as long as I don't get another plate. Okay. But like it's not like. Oh, my stomach rumbling. Oh, I got to, like, you know, start letting out the gases or anything like that. Like, nah, if I was like that, maybe I'd be a little bit more conscious. And it's really only with, like, super cheesy stuff. Like, I can have pizza, and it's, like, minimum issue. I can have ice cream, and as long as I don't have, like, two bowls at once, like, it's no issue. Mm -hmm. Um, And at once, I mean, like, I have one bowl, and I go back to get another. I'm not that fat. Where I have two bowls, <laughs> one with vanilla, one with two bowls next one to with each chocolate. Other. No, you gotta yeah. stop. <laughs> That's you gotta be stopped. Yeah, as long as I don't have like two servings in one sitting, um, then I'll pretty much it, it, it'll be like just an average day. But if it's like consistently cheese, like let's say I have for some reason I'm at a cookout and I have a cheeseburger, some mac and cheese, and then I decide I wanted to have another cheeseburger, I'm lit. Like that's like I'm lit. Yes, yeah, your yeah. your stomach going a little. Yeah, your stomach I'm, like, hey, hey, fam, what you doing? Yeah, I'm lit. What I'm you, lit, hey, crazy. Milk. I can't have more than one percent milk though. Oh, that fucks you up too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I only drink almond. Well, almond my dad, milk now. my dad is one of them demon lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, like, and he, he, <laughs> he like I uh, maybe I don't know if he still do it, but like when I when I was a kid, like. He would, because he worked a lot. So when he'd get days off, the few times he get days off, he would go nuts. Like, he'd get pizza and a cheeseburger and, like, eating ice cream and mm-hmm. shit. Two bowls of ice cream. And then he'd wake up and be like, oh, man, why my stomach hurt? Fam, because you, you did this to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just killed yourself, man. What are you doing? My dad will get two big-ass bowls of ice cream, be half sleep eating the motherfuckers. That's nasty. And I'm just like. I was like, man, you gonna be fucked up in the morning. <laughs> nah, that's nasty. For me. And it never fell. He'd do that shit every weekend, or every time he got time off, like extended time off, he would do that shit, and then be shocked why his stomach was hurt. I'm like, fam, I don't. He he did that at my house before, and I was just like, get out. He was just like on the couch, like just like huddled up, and I'm like, you good? He like my stomach. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, fam, <laughs> you ate a tub of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know you ate the tub of ice cream. You know, Why are you acting you like know you know what's going on? Don't don't yeah, be like, you know. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. 
<laughs> That's exactly what he do. Like, I, I don't know why my stomach hurts so bad. I'm like, pop. As he's, I, the, the tub of ice cream is still I'm on about the table. To say, it gets gone. As the court is is empty on the table or he holding the ice cream scooper, I don't know what's wrong with me. Why is Rick, it? the spoon will be on the floor next to him and the <laughs> carton be on the table, bro. Empty. And he told me something he don't know what happened. And the, the spoon got the ice cream still dripping <laughs> off of it. <laughs> Why does like fam, you? Why does my stomach hurt? Like, oh my god! You you know what you did. I'm not even about to help you at this point because you just you like this shit, obviously. <laughs> no, but uh, I, what were we talking about? We were I repeat Teddy it, Ray. Just, it yeah, took 20 minutes yeah, to get that out completely, but <laughs> I repeated Teddy Ray. And I feel like this is how he would want oh. to be honored. Talk about some mac and cheese. He would joking around and debating Food. Uh, mac and cheeses yeah. and. Talking about niggas' stomachs hurt, and I think he would enjoy that a lot. <laughs> um, also, in other news, Serena Williams is retiring after this next U.S. Open. Yeah, what was her which, what was her statement? Um, she was like, um, um, "If I was a man, I wouldn't have to write this um, because I would be able to focus on my career and still have a, a, a large family or a growing family." But since, oh, since I didn't I'm know not, she said. Yeah, that. Well, yeah, she was basically saying that um, she's take she's retiring because she wants to have a, a bigger family, basically. And as a woman, the only way to have a bigger family with uh, with a heterosexual relationship, and if they don't want to adopt or anything like that, the only right. biological way to have a um, bigger family, bigger family is, is put is, to work in yeah, it's, it's for her <laughs> to be pregnant to work in. and that's nine yeah. months off of off of a, a year which is her season and if you want to do that back to back you would miss two three four years yeah of, so so she has she has basically retired because she wants to have a, a family which in 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 her perspective it is correct um i can see how that's not fair how she would feel that's not fair um as a woman athlete because a man doesn't have to do anything extra to have a growing family uh, they just have to right. you know do the deed yeah right? and then just go yeah. about the rest of the day but as a woman um it's it doesn't end at that like she got to carry and take care of and everything mm-hmm. and such mm-hmm. so you know it it's it's a con- I don't think that's something to be upset about because there's really nothing you could do about that is that a hot take? Because I feel like um, I I, I wouldn't like say it's something that, that was kind of just like no I okay. no that just because it's something that is how the world is and is how it works doesn't mean you can't be upset about how it is or how it works. Um, and her yeah, her feelings okay. are valid because it's her life. Um, just because no, I'm, I'm yeah. not validating her feelings. I'm just saying like. It's it's like that's just like biologically how it is. But it's not like it's not like somebody's forcing that rule that women need to be pregnant. You see what I'm saying? Like that's just yeah how like she, the ecosystem of life works. Yeah, so I, I, I took her statement as just being like the, to her fans, especially to her woman fans. Like this is why I'm doing this, um, and I know it's not it's not necessarily I want to. Yeah, and it's not right. even though it's not necessarily fair. It's just. What I want to prioritize this part of my life and not this part anymore, and be, and so because okay. of that, I'm stepping away from the sport. But she was just bringing attention to the fact that as a woman athlete, there's just an extra hurdle that she now has to take into account. That she got to get when over, it comes to right, her career right. because she can't just do what she loves and then another child appears at home when she comes back. Right. Well. I will uh, say barring this, adoption, she is the goat. She, she could adopt. She don't need to play no more. She could adopt, but that's uh, some people don't. Some people want their kids to be, which is weird. You know, I feel like that's weird. Kids, if you really love children, you like weird? you love children, I feel like if you have one, well, some people don't though. <laughs> that's the thing. Some people yeah, don't love uh, well, children then, like like they say. Well, then at that, yeah, but then at that point, why are you having kids? Um, in general, but yeah, and then you can true. make the argument like, well, they're they're not your kids, so like. If if they're your own, which kids, is you'll nasty love them, to say. Well, like, and people like that, I don't want to be adopted kids anyway, because you obviously gonna treat them differently or something, and that's that defeats the purpose of adopting. So, if if you feel like that, like wholeheartedly, then you shouldn't adopt in the first place, because you you gonna be weird to the kid, and the kid might as well 
go to a family that's going to treat them like family, not like, oh, well, uh, you you not even blood for it, like in an argument. That's why you not even blood for it. Like, that's nasty. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Yeah, it's, that's I always take it weird because it's like, it's like <coughs> people who, who be like, well, I, I can't adopt because if, if I want kids, they got to be my own kids. I'm like, bro, you don't have some magical connection with children just because they share DNA. Like, like people be like that, and TV makes it seem like that. Obviously, there's gonna be like genetic similarities, like features and stuff. But at the end of the day, that little person it's is your is, kid. Yeah, that yeah. little person is his own person. So like, if if they don't, and once you adopt them, yeah. they your kid. Like it ain't no like they they yours. That's it. Mm-hmm. And so um, you know, people are weird. But um, I feel like with how the way the world is about women and choosing their their and choosing what they should or shouldn't do with their bodies, I feel like. Um, uh, certain, uh, how should I say this? Certain tax brackets uh, should be encouraged to adopt uh, v- versus versus not adopt <laughs> because it's like <laughs> you it's, think, it's like if, you if, if the you're rich force, folk if you're forcing one. them to have if the rich folks is forcing them to have them then the rich folk got to take care of the, the excesses. But see, the rich folk is more is more um, of the ones that be into that legacy shit. Than poor people, then or not poor, but poorer people. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, this has to be my, you know, see, what you see what I'm saying? Like, this has to be my hey. biological. But son they or find daughter. they are fine lobbying to Congress and all and the other parts of of our judicial system. Um, oh yeah, they're fine lobbying to them and being like, we want abortion out of here. Like, we want that shit to yeah. stop. So if they if they fine with putting money to stop an abortion, then they should be fine with putting money into the rearing. These they're not abandoned fine children because most of them are nasty individuals, so they're not fine with it. They're not going to do that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I will say about Serena, really quick, she is the goat. She don't really got to do shit else. Like it's really, it's literally nothing else for her to prove. So I guess now is better than any time to hang it up because I'm better than these niggas. Literally, like women and some majority of niggas, she's better than. So, <laughs> I, what like what else is it for her to do at this point besides try to build her family up some more? So good for her. I'm happy for her that she actually uh, get some time off. This is a kind of conversation me and one of our friends were having in a party, and I wanted to get your take on it because I just thought about it. Um, mm-hmm. Would these certain athletes be as big as they are if they weren't? African American and don't hold on before you before you say this is a hot take or this or I'm, I'm or, 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 <laughs> like, or like what are you asking <laughs> and I'll give an example Serena probably would still be as big as she is right because uh, of because of her achievements because right, she dominates and right. and and that that might be the same but I just want you to look at it as a whole in terms of sports where we're not a majority we're a minority. Um, so one example right. I I have, and the best example I have for this argument is Tiger Woods. Mm-hmm. Tiger Woods, really great golfer. He might be in some people's top five. <coughs> he might be in their top three. He might only be in their top ten, right? But would Tiger mm-hmm. Woods be the same name it is today if he wasn't black? Even mm. if he doesn't claim that he's black. So that's a very good question rig actually because would you know who tiger woods was if he wasn't black do you feel like probably not because name because like name 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 the top three golfers like because uh rory mcelroy yeah i know him but i only know but to see the people i know is only because of tiger woods yeah so i wouldn't know those people if it wasn't because he or if you're because yeah, because the person I was talking to with um, was saying that it, like people some people would just know those like top three golfer names because maybe they're avid ESPN watchers like if they're like sports maybe. watchers in general they right. might have that conversation but I'm like Tiger Woods transcends golf for some people in terms of them knowing who he is like they might not right. have ever seen a lick of golf might never have even watched ESPN. But I could ask. But they like, know who Tiger Woods. Yeah, is. like I could ask uh, Brianna. I could be like, "Who's Tiger Woods?" And she could tell me he's a golfer, and she's probably mm-hmm. never seen him play besides maybe a clip on YouTube, if that. And right, and right. like, would that be the same if he wasn't black? 
or even though he uh, uh, he does because he doesn't claim he's black, so I, that's why I was like, even though he does well I, claims air quote he more identifies with his Asian side as an Asian person, yeah. Right, yeah. And so right. off the strength of that, if he was what he majority, I guess, identifies as, would he be who he is? Like like even if he doesn't care about that part because of home life or you know his dad not being there or something like that, I believe. Um, would he still be as big, or or does what or does having that part that he doesn't doesn't necessarily um, identify as is what made him as successful not successful in his sport, but as successful branding outside of his sport as he is. Like, would he have the deals? Mm. Would he have the like the branding? Would he have like the name behind him? The the same level of if legacy? he was like Allen Iverson, no. If his attitude was like Allen Iverson, no. <laughs> Hell no. If he was like, if he was like, like getting hole in ones and then saying, yeah, fuck nigga, like to other people, he wouldn't be, <laughs> no. He definitely wouldn't be getting that. If he, if he was like, met a, like Ron Artest, <clears throat> but like really good at golf, he wouldn't, he wouldn't get the deals or anything like that. <clears throat> I'll say this. I think it applies to certain sports. I feel like certain sports, like hockey, like if a, if it's a really good black, hockey player if he was white yes he would be probably bigger or get more clout if if uh it was golf like golf like we just said if tiger woods was asian or white and not like mixed or anything he would probably get more love and clout but like shit like football and basketball i don't think it's like that you, wait, you much think anymore. tiger woods would be more famous if he wasn't black because he was so good, he was so good. I but feel what, like people they would like try to annoy difference. him like they did with but there, McElroy. But there's a difference. Would he be as known if he was black? Do you feel like he would be a? If, you, do you think? No, he wouldn't be as known. No. Yeah, he no. like, and that's and that's where maybe he might be more respected in his sport or whatnot. Be because of that, because of how the the standings of golf is and how mm-hmm. little part. Minorities really play in like the the major leagues of, of, of golf, um, but I feel like Tiger Woods benefited from the fact that he was African American. You think he benefited from it? Yeah, in terms of in terms of in the realm of golf. Yeah, he did. He did because it was just so. Not only was so not like, only I guess, was his yeah, not only see. was his performance amazing. It was coming from someone who wouldn't normally be seen in this circuit. So I feel like right. if he wasn't African American of some sort or some like obscure minority that doesn't operate in this sport usually, he would not he would not be who Tiger Woods is. Because like I was saying, Brianna knows who Tiger Woods is, and it's not because mm-hmm. he was a great golfer. That's like if it was a that, I, I get you now. I understand a little bit better. That's like if it was a black Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, he would be. He would. I would know who he is. And I only yeah, know he would break. Gre- he would break the internet. Like he would yeah. just. And I would he know. Would be showered in deals and all that shit. Yeah, and I only know Wayne Gretzky because of like his accolades on its own. And, yeah, and, he the Michael Jordan the hockey. Yeah, and, and even then, I don't really know that much about him. Um, but if I were to ask Rihanna about who's Wayne Gretzky, she might not know who uh, who he is. I only know him because like people obviously people would talk about him from from time to time. And I watched an actual clip of him before, and that nigga was legitimately like that. Like, it was, he was doing shit that I'm like, I was like, he might be a nigga for real. <laughs> <laughs> was he was doing tricks and shit. I'm like, white boys don't do, especially in the 90s and 80s and shit, they don't you're do, gonna, like, tricks. You're gonna catch, like, they just fundamental. You're going to catch flag for being racially minded, Steve. Not everything relates Rick. to race. Rick. In the 80s and 90s, white boys was not doing tricks and shit. They was fundamental players in every sport. That's not every players. sport. They don't do tricks. Not every sport. Not our sports. In the 80s and 90s and, and shit? In our sports, yes, but not in every sport. Hockey, you can't hold hockey to the same standard of sports you're thinking of. Maybe baseball. Even then, that's not true because niggas was taking steroids. But, yeah, but that hockey, don't count. Hockey is literally count. a sport where, like... <laughs> You're allowed to beef, so like they were already a realm apart from any other sport. The average white individual. Yeah. Okay, I get you on that. Like, them, I get you. On them that. boys literally. There was people on the team who were only on the team. They were shit at everything to else. Beef. Yeah, they were shit at skating. 
they were shit at scoring, shit at handling <laughs> the puck. But they could, but they could beat they could the take them gloves off and razzle dazzle you up. And they were the st- mm-hmm. and they were the star, the enforcer on their team. Once you have a yeah. a player who's known as the enforcer, and it goes past like they foul hard or they check hard, but no, they literally like. If if you follow my star player and try to like hurt him or potentially yeah, injure worked. him, I'm, working I'm grabbing you, you by your yeah. jersey, and we beef him. And like that's yeah. what they were. There's no were conversation either. Like it's throw your gloves. We're beefing. I'm surprised black people don't like hockey more. I really uh, it's kind of surprising because it's, it's like you think it's the cold. Yeah, I can't. okay. Have you ever sat and watched a hockey game like in the rink? No, I had no. I had they, they be in the stands. It's cold as they hell. They be in the stands in coats, and they in, they, they indoors. Yeah. yeah, black people don't be one. Why would I be? Should, black people don't even go to Bills games that much. That's what I'm saying. Why would it, yeah? And, that's and the Bills true. games are outdoors. Why would I be indoors and cold? Yeah, yeah, that is that's true. <laughs> I didn't think about it like I'll that. Like, in, yeah, I'll this is kind of cool. Yo, but. I could I could be wearing shorts and a t shirt outside, but the minute I gotta go in there, I gotta put on sweatpants and a hoodie. I would be living. Yeah, you might need more than that yeah. for real. If it's really, if it's really like the that. Bills games, are don't a let it different. be winter time. Yeah, Bills games. And then games you are going little... straight from inside, inside, and it's still cold as fuck. Oh, man, come on. Bills games are crazy because in the stadium they got like built-in heated sections, where it's like it's just a heat, like a heater above the stands that's generating heat, and you just sit under it. And that, that was where that uh, our old quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick, he was in the stands for one of our games. And that boy was shirtless under the heated section. And I was like, this. this oh, that's why he did that. Yeah, I thought no. he was just wilding out. No, no. I it, thought he was just going it was, crazy. It was the heated section. Even though it only does so much. Like, it, you know how cold it gets. It, it can only do so much. It's probably sending like a 40 degree day to like a 45 degree. Like when you're sitting under there. Unless they got that. But you know, the, you know the white people that go outside in shorts and shit when it's, when it's a blizzard. So. They maybe they could just they could just handle it. <laughs> well, they might be part Scandinavian. Vi- Viking. Blood. I've done that before though. I've done that before in the winter time, like because my store is right next door to me. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I don't want to put on a whole bunch of clothes just to go five feet next door. You see what I'm saying? I I, I can't. Get so with I that. would I would jog trot myself on out and. Uh, mm-hmm. Grab something and come back. Anything, I have done that. Anything below sixty degrees, I'm rolling on some sweatpants, regardless. You and it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> I remember some one of my neighbors said, "Oh, you acting white." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "It's the store is right there, bro. I'm not putting on all my clothes just to go right next door." Yeah, that's why you always keep a pair of sweatpants and a bubble coat on you. It's, it's simple, easy, and it'll keep you warm enough. <laughs> it's for just hanging up on the rack near the door. <laughs> And you just grab that motherfucker. Simple, easy, and then you can take it right off, and it don't got to be washed. You take it right off, and just hang it right back. Oh yeah, I feel you. That's true. Only got to wash just, it. After maybe like that's why I be three. sick and shit. Yeah, that's why I be getting sick and shit too. So maybe this winter I'll tone it down a little bit. I do got a question for you, Rick. It's a little bit of a controversial question. Uh, was Meg the Stallion lying? About the Tory Lane situation, uh, Hollywood is telling me she was lying through her goddamn teeth. Um, you think so? I don't know. She did just say in a new song that uh, she did a who shot a who shot your bar, and she said, "Y'all know who shot me. Stop playing." That's what she said. I'll say this, right? She seems to be adamant that that nigga shot her. Yeah, and people <laughs> say people adamant. say like the police report and the doctors report are saying one thing when the conversation is another. But at the end of the day, if she was conscious and of able body mind, and she's telling them that this certain thing didn't happen, which is what she said from the beginning, like, oh, the police were asking about what happened, and I said, I cut my foot on glass. Right, that is what she said initially. Yeah. And if That's she goes she into an ER, and they're asking her what happened, and she keeps telling them what she says happens... No matter what the wound looks like, unless they can prove it, they have to document it as or unless they like shorty it's yeah. a bullet in your foot. Yeah, right now. Uh, yeah. You unless they about? can prove it, like like obviously, like if you're saying, "Oh, I only have a light cough," and they do a blood work and be like, "Oh, well, no, you have tuberculosis," or like you have strep throat mm-hmm. or something like that. 
then obviously they'll put what it actually is versus what you come came in there saying. But if it's like I have a cut on my arm and I said, oh, um, I fell down and cut my arm and I got sliced by a knife by someone, but I keep telling them like they know what it looked like. But I keep telling them what it is. You uh, just fell. And yeah, unless like, they can't. Do yeah, that. unless they could confirm it. Like unless they be like, "Oh, I seen that happen," or like, "Oh, I, we got video." Like it, it, or like, "Oh, there was something in the wound that led us to believe that it was this and not that." Then there's nothing really anybody can do. So if she's just swearing up and down what it is, and the wound isn't of any sort of significance for them to really like prove that it's something other than not the other thing then they gotta write down mm-hmm. what it was what what they're being told right right but the um, but everybody else in Hollywood seems to believe that she was not shot and Tory Lanez is locked up I, but people aren't locked up for a lot of things shout out Ben Roethlisberger aka, yeah, that's what I'm AKA saying. Uh, true. go to jail um, shout out um, um, Deshaun Watson aka uh, go to jail um, Fuck nigga Deshaun That should yeah. be under the prison yeah. yep. Shout out Bill Cosby uh, We had you The lawyer fumbled And you're back out again But I need you under the dirt Nah I was just gonna say Regarding Meg <sighs> Shit This could be kinda crazy I She probably capped She might have capped bro She might have capped uh, We talked about this before In another podcast Cause different stuff Comes out periodically but she, if she, if Tory really was the one who blamed her, he'd be in jail right now, bro. There's no way. Like it, it has to be something. It, it's just too. He would be in jail. He would at least be in in jail, being held or something. That I don't, I don't know what happened that made her say that or that caused her because she was under the influence. They did confirm that. Uh, he was also under the influence, and the people at the party or wherever they was at was all under the influence. That is a confirmed fact. So, may, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick, because I, I, I was on the wave of believe women and just believe women immediately and don't question them. But the more stuff was coming out, I was just like, Meg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, I, so I, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm on the fence of. It's not looking right, but at the same time, I don't want to question a woman when she's vulnerable and try and trying to seek help. You see what I'm saying? Am I? Yeah. What, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Uh, oh, mm. that's the only reason I'm on the fence because I'm like, if it did happen. And we just like just kind of shooing her away, which that's not what happened because when it first came out, everybody was on Tory Bumper and he lost deals Mm -hmm. and his music was flopping, not because people didn't want to listen to it, but because of the situation. So he did get he did lose when it first came out. It's just only now that he's getting popular again because it's not looking right from Meg's side of the story. So it's not like he didn't like feel anything from it. So if she is lying, he he got a def- But that's another thing too. If she's capping, why isn't he countersuing her for defamation? He hasn't done that, from what I've heard. Yeah, I feel like I, that's so. that's where I feel like it's really up in the air. Because while it would be easy, like you said, like the court of public opinion already decided that he was guilty, but then maybe the lack of legal response. Made it seem like that maybe, uh, but um, but yeah, the the court of public opinion maybe seeing that the wheels of justice is taking too long or whatever, whatever, is seeing it as oh maybe she wasn't telling the whole truth or maybe what happened didn't happen the way it was told or something like that, and so people right. switch up like like if we heard that. Like this celebrity did something like like really crazy, right? Um, mm-hmm. And we stopped listening to that <coughs> celebrity's music, or we stopped listening to their their content, or we stopped watching their movies or whatnot or or whatever, right? And then mm-hmm. months, maybe a year goes by and nothing happens to that celebrity. That people start to think like, oh, maybe that was a lie. Maybe that was, maybe that was like some misunderstanding or somebody just trying to do something malicious or something like that 
And then, right. and then people be like, well, it wasn't true because nothing happened to him. And then, Which another, that, I but guess then that, another year oh, goes sorry, by. Go yeah, no, you're fine. Then yeah. another, uh, then another years go by, and then they get hit with a charge because that's how long an investigation takes. Like an investigation mm, isn't right. like Law and Order, where like they get the they get the case solved in, in an episode, forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. forty five <laughs> minutes to an hour. Like like the the episode has multiple days, months, even sometimes years. In the single episode of them investigating, gathering evidence, and charging, and and then even when they charge the person, court isn't even so, sometimes within the same like year that they're getting charged with. Sometimes their court exactly. date is, is is a year out or something like that. Right. So so I feel like the court of public opinion is very finicky, and mm-hmm. I I'm not going by that on terms of if he was right or if he was wrong, and I'm definitely not going by celebrities either. Even though, even though I see Tori is featuring on a lot of people's stuff again, I know the baby was did a whole thing with him and whatnot, and I know he's been seen a lot more since before than he was now. But I just feel like it's so easy to be like, well, if what really had been happened, then he would be in jail or in trouble already. Um, this time, twenty twenty three, we could see him locked up and going to court for the for this event. And then when we could, and, then, right. and then all this stuff comes out about what happened in that situation, and everybody's looking at each other like, "Well, she did tell us," or or right, yeah, or even or thing, even right. it could be the opposite. Like, well, he did tell us. It's just uh, you can't go by it until it's been formally fought in public, like not in public, but right. in, in in the court, like the in an court, actual court. Right. Yeah, it it made me think of the Johnny Depp thing when while you was like giving your analogy. At first, when Amber Heard came out and said Johnny Depp was like beating her and treating her a certain type of way, mm-hmm. Johnny Depp lost a lot of stuff. Like he lost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. He he sues her for defamation, and it come to find out she lied. He he yeah, like he did some things, yeah, but it wasn't not, the things that she said he yeah. did. It was very different and, kind. And he wasn't she was the one abusing abuser. him. Yeah, he yeah, he, he would talk shit to her, but he never like put his hands on her or nothing. And, well, he did. Unless it was in self, yeah, yeah in self defense, it wasn't self defense, yeah. yeah. Oh, and in the flip side, she was the one like abusing him. So, and <laughs> this is not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. It did come out that Meg was hitting Tory. That's a rumor that Meg be was beating Tory. I don't know how true that is. That was, and he just got tired of getting beat up. Yeah. Unless That's what some people would say, yeah. but I don't. I don't know how true that part is. I think that was just people trying to make fun of her because she's bigger than him. That that's kind of what I took from that. If that is true, though, and what and what if we find that out though? What if that's confirmed? Like later on, like she was actually hitting him, and it was uh, shooting her. I guess is, is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's but still, what if it was just like, that's still illegal. Yeah, it's just it's just, <laughs> yeah. just there would be two separate charges. There would be one for her, one for him. Maybe that makes right. it both reduced, and then you know there's some and then they just restraining yeah. order, like don't yeah. be around. Which each other I feel like that could be what what it is, which is why why neither of them is really pressing the issue ver- except within their music is because it's not as cut and dry as he was offended and so he shot her. But it could have been like. He she was offended, so she so she was hitting him, and then he got upset, and then he and then gun pulls out, and then escalation or some third party makes him upset, pulls out gun, escalation or right. third party pulls out gun, he gets it, escalation or some something that right. incriminates all of them, which might be why no one's pushing anything either because. Because they know they they probably play more of a part than they. Yeah, know. And, and then once once you get into the like the the um the nitty gritty, if there's enough of bad intentions in a situation to go around, everybody's getting in trouble. Nobody right, wants to get right. in trouble, <laughs> so it's like, right. So they so you're not gonna you're not gonna be on the bumper of the situation as much as you probably should be. Mm-hmm. I, I get that. I get that. But um, so so to answer the question though, Rick, do you think personally Meg was lying? I feel like I'll say no. I'll say she she wasn't lying about getting shot. I'll say or or okay. uh, or at least because it's already been proven that a gun was fired. So okay. So I won't lie. I won't say she was lying about getting shot. At maybe maybe it did, maybe it only like slightly grazed her or something like that 
or whatever, whatever. But her getting shot or shot at, no, she was not lying. The situation at hand, eh, I don't know. Mm. So you think maybe she could be blaming the wrong person? Because some people were saying that too. Tori kind of alluded to that, like you're blaming me, but this other person was there as well. Check your friends. Like he said shit like that. So that could be it too. Maybe she just so gun ho on making it him that she kind of like blinded by the actual fact of the matter. Yeah, that could be the case too. Maybe. Yeah. Um, because the story is he he was cheating on her with one of her home homies, one of her friends. Mm-hmm. And again, I don't know how true that is. That's just a story that was released. She was cheating. He was cheating. Uh, she got upset. Altercation, altercation. Somebody and Meg got shot. Mm-hmm. That's what the story, the general story was. So maybe maybe her home girl did it. Maybe in defense of Tori because they was messing around. Maybe she really like. I don't know. It's just it's a weird situation. It's 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 also a very touchy subject because again, like I said, you don't want. I don't want to. Uh, so a woman trying to seek help and then we're just like oh whatever. Like you see, what I'm saying I don't want to do that. But then it's just like everything not lining up properly. Mm-hmm. So you can't just be stupid either. Because you could put Tori in jail just because Meg said this and then he really didn't do it. Now the motherfucker's in jail for no reason. We don't want to do that either. So that that's that's kind of where I'm at. I don't... I think they shouldn't have been together, number one. I feel like that was, they were just a bad couple. Yeah. It, it's a... Uh, yeah, I'll say this. Um, let, let them niggas figure it out. Yeah, I'm, facts. I'm done being Sherlock Holmes with Facts. limited with, with limited uh, information, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but Rick, I will say this: it's uh, Fat Boy time. My food is indeed on the way, so I'm going to suggest <laughs> that we close it out here. <laughs> and Shiley's <laughs> and also getting antsy. Shiley's yeah, also I'm getting antsy. Too, I'm definitely so. yeah, I'm definitely fine with that. So <laughs> this has been episode 63 of the RMP podcast. I really appreciate anybody who's made it to this point. Um, and let us know um, what you felt about some of these situations. Do you th- feel like Meg was lying? Um, is mac and cheese just the goat dish? The answer is only yes. So might as well just spam the comments with yes. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, tell us maybe some if you watch Teddy Ray all deaf. Tell us maybe some of your favorite Teddy Ray moments on, mm-hmm. on the on the channel, and what some of your favorite jokes of his or anything like that. Uh, but past that. Um, if you liked our content, make sure to subscribe, follow us on, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, follow us on Spotify, because that's where I would recommend you watch these episodes, or on Google or, or uh, Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you can catch podcasts, you'll find us. And uh, stay on the lookout for more. And most of all, we love you guys. Bye. Peace.